Yes. Now we have the final round for the junior group. The sequence are as follows. Ms. Kirti Verma, Ravad Bata, AECS. Please come on the dice as I call your name. Yes, sir. ACS 3, Ravad Bata. Priyanjali, ACS 3, Ravad Bata. Rim ACS Indore. Raj Shekhar Mahanti, ACS Indore. Anusha Yadav, ACS Ravad Bata 2. Molik Choudhury, ACS 2, Ravad Bata. Anushri Maheshwari, ACS 4, Ravad Bata. Ms. Purvi Jain, ACS 4, Ravad Bata. Over to Amulya, ma'am. Thank you, Rebecca, ma'am. So we are gathered again for round two in the post-lunch session. Finals for the juniors. Dear audience, could I kindly have your attention? We request you to kindly maintain silence so that everybody is audible and the judges find it very easy to give their judgment. Dear audience, I request you again to please maintain silence. Children, once you're silent, we'll begin. Social media is a big distraction for students. This is the topic for the juniors. And we have four teams lined up. All of them made it through the first round. And they're all ready to showcase their views and present their ideas to this audience. So audience, if you are quiet, let us start off with the first team. Thank you. We begin with today's speakers. We begin with the four motion. Ms. Kriti Varma from Ravadhata School 3. Kindly step forward for speaking for the motion. Dear audience, we request you to kindly stop talking amongst yourself because the auditorium is nearly empty. The sounds echo and your voices magnify. Thank you. I recently heard a news that a couple drowned in a pond while making a reel to post on Instagram. How is it that we are not even able to figure out the danger of death if we, the proper care is not taken? The answer is distraction. A very warm evening to one of our present here. My name is Keithi Verma and I'm here to speak in favor of the motion. In the past few months, there has been an increment in the cases where people have died while making Instagram reels, TikTok videos, or YouTube shorts. What is it? Is it the distraction? They are so distracted, they are unable to figure out even the danger of death. Increasing presence of social media distraction is leading to an increase in the so-called Snapchat car crash or car crash of someone using Snapchat or any other form of social media while driving. According to the statistics compiled by advocates of safety and highways, 17% of drivers have admitted to take photos and selfies while driving. While a survey found that 78% of teen drivers have admitted that they text. Checking social media, sending mails or watching videos right before going to bed have generating stimulating effects of light from digital screen, generating issues, causing big distraction through school hours next days, and therefore school students are not able to focus in their classes. The blue light exposure can be worse for those who wake up to check their phones after falling asleep and leaves them at an even higher risk of losing sleep and prone to sleep disorders like insomnia. The modifications beeping sound from social media is another distractive factor which does not allow them to concentrate on any activity that they perform. There has been evidence that suggests that excessive use of social media can negatively impact life satisfaction and self-esteem. If leisure time is not spent away from social media, narcissism could overshadow self-esteem. 
we shouldn't let social media encourage ourselves to portray us as who we aren't because it inflicts a constant pressure to live up to we might become obsessed with a version of ourselves who we aren't in this way students are losing their own self and when one loses their own self we lose our brain the person who has lost their brain can never concentrate on anything they do so i don't have any doubt that social media is in the distraction and i don't believe that any opponent sitting here disagrees that if a student has to achieve their goals they need to keep social media away if it is so then you all believe that social media is a big distraction to students thank you thank you great kirti the next speaker from school number 3 ravat bhata is priyanjali panja she will be speaking for the motion social media is the perfect irony between distraction and focus good afternoon to one and all present here i priyanjali panja stand before you to speak today's speak in favor of today's topic social media is a 215.5 us dollar 0.5 billion us dollar industry and what is the prime aim of any industry it is to distract people so that they stop thinking and start buying their products so what do you expect from this billions of dollars of industry that is distraction of youth and so that the number of users on social media increase social media works on metadata and algorithm In the year 2020 a report was released that revealed how metadata invades the privacy of users and projects the algorithms in such a way that traps the students and they get addicted one can only get addicted when one is distracted i am not saying this in a survey conducted in france a student called lily beres said this that the distraction of by social media is because of the idea in general social media has become a huge problem when it comes to creating a chain of thoughts 70% of students right now find it difficult to create a chain of thoughts why is this happening have you ever thought about this this is happening because of the short videos on youtube reels on instagram highlights on snapchat and one is not able to create a chain of thoughts only when one is distracted and i don't think that now opponents are this immature that they will not understand this and how can you say that social media is not a big distraction social media distraction is one thing but other things that lead to distraction are the exposure and the mind to observe the reality and i think adolescents lack it to some extent these days honey traps and money traps have become a major problem adolescents are a big big uh, what do you say a big source for them that they often use the algorithms to trap them adolescents don't really understand this and all these things all these things at the end of the day lead to students killing themselves there are ample incidences of suicides murders extortions etc and what do you have to say about this this is very problematic and these days we often find parents and teachers complaining about their students or their wards creating a habit of procrastination and i think none of us might have thought about it but why has this emerged as one of the biggest problems in our society right now and at the end i would like to ask a question and i hope that you will find the answer how can a distracted generation learn anything thank you next speaker and this is speaking against the motion and it is ramsha riyasat fatima from acs indore speaking against the motion greetings to one and all present here once again i'm ramsha from acs indore we all are students and being a student i believe that social media plays a major role in our life we all do use social media right like uh, i'm here to present my views on the contrary of what was said by my fellow debaters i'm here to support strongly support the idea that social media is not at all a distraction for the students just a couple of years ago we faced an unforeseen worldwide pandemic which seized the life around everyone was isolated in their homes what was it then that helped us to maintain contact 
what was it then that helped us to bring out the creator the artist within us the social media of course social media it provide the, uh, provided us the base to bring out our original creator the artist within us we all have hobbies and social media promotes uh, promotes our skills it provides the best place to promote our skills and to present our views our ideas in front of our friends in front of the watching world you say that social media is destructive for students many of you might have this thought in your mind like of course you would have this thought in your mind that social media is the biggest distraction during homework well it it's not you just have to know how to use it many social sites have in particularly particularly have been created for the students themselves so that students they are able to form communities they are able to connect with the world they are able to con uh, connect with all those students uh, around the world instead of searching for your homework for assignments and projects on search engines you should just try to ac uh, access these on social media with the fellow students because they help to provide precise information their students your students they know what you mean and they would obviously help provide you the best information thus help manage time many of us have have unique ambitions in our life some of uh, some of them like some of them are really unique and you won't find much uh, much um what do you, uh, you say that you won't find much supporters around you for that ambitions well of course you would find many people online many such experienced uh, experienced people online with whom you can connect to connect to achieve uh, achieve your ambitions in life you experience you achieve well uh, we are all in high school and high school does require a lot of study hours right how can one student study for 5 to 8 hours continuously scrolling up on social media would surely help to refresh your mind it helps us to focus on our studies better because if you are refreshed you focus on your study studies better than ever social media has uh, also provided us uh, provided us the, uh, the opportunity to connect with each other uh, each other better than ever i'll try to give my own example i'm so much interested in space science and technology but i do not find many people around me social media provides me that opportunity well the time's up i would like to end it here thank you the next speaker speaking against the motion from acs indore is rashikar mahanti good morning myself rashikar mahanti from acs indore and i would just like to add a few more points you can see just the camera that is right in the middle of here you can understand this uh, like what is the debate i am giving it has already been recorded and it is being actually a live stream in the internet so the students who are watching this debate can actually learn that what are the benefits of debate and what counter points we are giving and how we are discussing things is a, a very important factor and they can learn that how we are different in our manner and how they are different in their manner i would like to explain what social media actually is social media is actually a platform where you can explain your own views and we can understand here that how our own views are different from one another and this is a very big benefit for students variety of applications are available here applications like twitter reddit and uh, facebook here you can share your pictures and your opinions on views and you can uh, just post a paragraph like why you feel so and why i feel so and this is a very big advantage for students because here they can understand that why i am different and why they are different and also it has been a very important part of education last year we had a very big pandemic everyone was locked into their homes and it was only mobile phones that saved them from this problem millions of people have been using uh, the mobile phones it has been proved very beneficial because here students are getting information for quite cheap and they can afford all these kinds of information this is the biggest advantage of using a social media and also it depends on how you are actually using these kinds of information it provides you the fast and the most beneficial information in quick seconds which is a very big and important factor why social media can be proved it is actually good and it is quite cost effective you have to do only one time investment and you have to just pay just a few amount for internet and there you go you have information from all around the world right at your hands and you can learn anything people these days are using social media to understand what things they actually excel in and what things they can actually know 
For example, if a person knows how to play guitar and uploads his video that, uh, yes, I know how to play guitar and most of people come here and tell him his, about his mistakes and then the next day he can improve and post his videos which can actually improve his uh, skills, which is a very big factor. Another important thing about social media is that it can be promotional. For suppose if a person is, uh, as if a student is making, uh, good at making something, is if a person uh, like a student is good at making art or something, he can post some kind of promotional advertisement in social media and there you can sell all of your uh, like creativity and whatever you make. It is very important for forming large communities because forming the large communities ensures that students tend to interact with each other, share their problems and improve their problem solving skills. That's uh, all I want to tell you. And I would also want to conclude with the fact that social media is actually very useful. Thank you. Thank you, Raj Shekhar. The next speaker is going to speak for the motion and it is Anusha Yadav from ACS2 Ravad Bhatta. A very good morning to one and all present here. I'm standing in front of you all to speak in the favor of today's topic that social media is a big distraction for students. Social media, a collective term for websites and applications that focuses on communication, community-based input, interaction, collaboration, and content sharing. Doesn't this definition sound so great? Then what is the reason of this so-called social media turning anti-social for students and creating unavoidable and alarming situations? Most of the time, social media have a negative impact on the minds of students. It convinces them that others are living a better life than them and makes them underconfident and they are not able to focus on their studies. Interaction with others, behavior, and personal health all are affected due to the distractedness of social media. Most of the students even agree to the fact that they prefer social media to avoid face-to-face -face interaction. That means they are becoming socially unhealthy and they are lacking the basic social skills necessary in each sphere of life. Nowadays, students are so indulged in social media that they even forget about themselves. If you disturb them during this time, they become so irritated and it takes them a lot of time to come back to reality because they have a completely different mindset when they are using social media. Social media has developed a, a habit of procrastination among students. And I'm not talking about the older students, even the younger ones. Social media gives rise to issues like cyberbullying. And the worst affected, the worst affected are students. We all have heard a lot of students have lost their lives due to falling in the trap of cyberbullying. Social media is distracting students from their work and prohibiting them to show their full potential in classroom. Social anxiety, depression, self-image issues are all the outcomes of overuse of social media. According to a survey, more than 70% of teens, that, is, that includes students, are active on social media. And the trend here is to stay and will probably will not fall, a, fall for a while. My worthy opponents may feel that social media have a lot of benefits when it comes to students. But the reality, the ground reality is that it causes students' grades to fall lower, their performance to be weaker because they are not showing their full potential and just going through the motions to get the work done. At last, in my opinion, Social media is the biggest distraction for students, and we should avoid it. Thank you, and have a nice day. Thank you, Anusha. I call upon the next speaker, Malik Chaudhary of ACS2 Rawat Bhatta, to present his views. Speaking for the motion. If something's not on social media, does not mean that it's not happening. Good morning, everyone. My name is Malik Chaudhary and today I'm standing here to speak a few words in the favor of today's topic that social media is a big distraction to students. Now, I would like to continue my argument by first stating how social media affects us as an individual. Because if we all can agree that social media affects us as an individual and changes the way we behave, that follows that it changes the way we interact with each other. University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine studied over 1,700 adults from the age of 19 years to 32 years. 
and it was found that 61 minutes are, have been spent daily on social media by an average person and on an average a person uses 30 a person visits 30 websites per week and that's a lot and this research was done in 2014 so the numbers have been growing steadily over the time over one fourth of the people's surveyed are found to be in depression because social media is one of the major cause of depression so if a person uses social media constantly he is three times more likely to be depressed and the relationship between social media and depression is not so severe than the relationship between social media and eating disorders and i'm not talking about the the eating disorders that are found in young girls nowadays eating disorders are found in each age group and every age every religion and even people from all socio-economic backgrounds that's an issue and when we talk about the people of my age the teens a research was done in 2018 stating that teens use 45 more 45 percent of the teen uses social media constantly over the day and 97 percent of the students uses social media once in a day and 97 percent is not a joke and how social media impacts us as a student. A study in 2019 was done between the age group of 12 to 15, which is a very short age group. And they showed that a person who uses social media more than three hours a day is most likely to be in a mental disorder or in depression. That's why I say excessive use of social media is tremendously hazardous to our health. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Malik. Next speaker is Anushri Maheshwari from ACS4 Rawat Bhatta. She will be speaking against the motion. We become what we behold. We shape our tools and then our tools shape us. Respected members of jury, learning teachers, and my dear friends, good morning. I am Anushri Maheshwari of ACS4 Rawat Bhatta standing before you to speak in against of today's motion and I disagree that social media is a big distraction to students. Let us know how so social media has transformed the society. Social media has revolutionized the society, made us capable of maintaining friends across the globe and help us learn and grow together. In short words, the whole world is at our fingertips and we have become a global village. In today's fast-paced world, there are so many burning issues which need our action and thought. Social media provides discussion and discourse on such issues, and many a times, issues are resolved too. Social media provides a platform for students to showcase their talent. In today's communication areas, students, era, students find it interesting to pursue their studies through different contents such as videos, text, and uh, webinars and gain extra knowledge in their syllabi. Students find it can desire, complete their desire and uh, gain additional knowledge. Students can exchange their knowledge and learn something new every day. Group discussion is one of the most notable advantages of social media. Do you know during COVID times, Social media has provided the students to pursue their studies. Then how can it be a distraction? People excelled in their courses and, and actually performed very well. So social media is not a distraction for students. Social media is like a knife. It can be used to cut vegetables or murder, some, murder someone. It is a mere tool in the hands of people. And the use of use it totally depends on ourselves. So friends, Technology and tools are useful and powerful when they are our friends, not our masters. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Anushri. The last speaker of this competition is Purbi Jain from Atomic Energy Central School for Rawat Bhatta. She'll be speaking against the motion. Purbi. Social media is not only about websites, programs. It is about sharing your content learning from others and doing other things. Good afternoon, respected members of uh, judges, teachers, and all my dear friends. 
Today, I am Purvi Jan from class 9th, ACS number 4, Ravad Bhata is standing in front of you to speak against the motion that social media is a distraction for students. In my opinion, social media is not a distraction for students. Today, social media and technology have become indispensable part of our every lives. Every individual who is above 13 years old will have their account on any of the popular social media networks like Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. However, the question that arises is how social media can help students? Is there any way that it can benefit learners? Of course, yes. It would not be wrong to say that social media and education goes hand in hand in the modern world. There are many educational approaches and advantages of social media which can increase your academic performance. And one of the best example is better communication. Social media provide us with a direct and a smoother communication between parents, students and teachers. Social media networking sites like Wikipedia help students to learn certain concepts in a better way and do their work with great efficiency. Also, these sites provide students with the latest data and help students to think on what's new and what's wrong. Another great advantage of social media is distance learning opportunities. There are many disadvantaged students who are not able to learn in regular form from uh, institutes and schools. But with the use of technology and social media, modern educators are able to teach these students. Social media has the power to broaden our perspective on various subjects and give illuminating instant content that is new. It provides us the opportunity to engage with experts to get answers to the question that we have difficulty to solve in. It helps us to think out of the box and do and show our talents what they are. Social media provides excellent e-educational opportunities for students for academic collaboration, learning from tutors despite physical boundary and barriers. So a survey shows that 90% of the college-going students regularly visit social media, not only for communication, but for gathering information and showing their content. So I totally disagree with today's topic that social media is a distraction for students. If you use social media in a proper way, then there is no disadvantage of so uh, social media. So you should learn how to use social media in a proper way. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Puri. So with that, Puri was the last speaker for the presentation round. We come to the end of the presentation round and we quickly move towards the rebuttal round. We'll be giving you 30 seconds. Have a drink of water quickly. Get your papers, your questions ready. And soon we'll have it. We have Emmett Zuz, Sri Joshi, Project Director. He's just uh, joined us a few moments ago, so we'd like to tell him we finished the presentation round, and now we'll be having the rebuttal round. So based on the rebuttal round, they'll be judged, and on the whole, the judgment will be given soon after the contest. Shall we begin, children? All ready? Good, all good to go? Yes? Okay. Here goes the rebuttal round. So it's the same as in the previous rounds too. Each group will get the opportunity to ask two questions to any of your opposing teams. And each team will be getting the opportunity to answer two questions. So let us go into the rebuttal round. We begin with the first team, AECS Ravad Bhata number three. Your question, please choose your opposing team. I would like to ask my question to ACS Indoor. And before I frame my question, I, was, I would like to tell them that there are a lot more things we can do rather than scrolling, scrolling on social media to refresh our minds. And I hope everybody present here will agree. Now, if social media or even mobile phones are not distracting factors, then why are we not allowed to carry mobile phones to school? And why did Maharashtra government today itself ban the use of mobile phones for students under 18 years of age? Well, as you know that uh, schools are meant for the phys physical education of the students. They're meant to develop their physical mind, their creative mind. So uh, like you spend six hours at school, you have enough time for your physical, uh, your physical development and mental development. So you can go home and use your social medias and your phone. So that's why they do not allow uh, mobile phones at schools. 
would also like to add one more point students interact with each other in in the schools and suppose if there is one rotten apple among the, all the rotten apples then the next day you can find that among all these apples perhaps there all the apples can be rotten in sense i can say that if one student is uh, saying something bad information or wrong information and sending to someone else then the other person might scroll it through the internet and uh, find it so i would like to say that obviously it is a problem and that is why they have banned uh, the mobile phones but otherwise they can be proved quite useful yes ac3 ravan bhatta that was your first question i'd like to remind you that this is only a rebuttal round so please don't make any statements otherwise just ask your question okay so ac3 ravan bhatta your second question please i would like to ask my question to acs4 ravan bhatta an article was recently released stating that 67% of the teens are engaged in watching pornographic content for 2 to 3 hours on a regular basis isn't this a distraction social media is it just an application it's our responsibility to use it wisely or not so i don't think it's the problem of the application is the problem of the person who is watching it and therefore social media we have to make sure that we use it for the our uh, health for our it's a very powerful and useful tool so we have to use it efficiently for our success purpose only well so that was the rebuttal round for by questions by school number 3 before we move on audience kindly keep quiet can you hear a lot of voice voices this would be great lovely let's move on to team 2 indore it is your turn to ask your question please choose your team uh, my first question would be to acs rawat bhatta school 3 uh, social media exposes us to the outside world directly so if not social media then who or what would help you to deal with the outside world after you pass out the pass out with 12th the the information which is updated on social media the same thing is updated in the magazines and newspapers they are available uh, like i know that they are available in every sector almost every sector at least where we are so it's not just a social media so we can get to know about this information on uh, magazines and newspaper we don't need social media exactly can i counter that actually i wanted to like uh, she actually misunderstood my question you just stopped the time you want sir can we allow her to oh so yes so the question will not be repeated so let's move on to the second question indo could you please ask your second question yeah i would ask my question to acs2 rao bhata yeah uh, they made a statement like uh, social media causes anti social personality suicidal thoughts cyber bullying digital dementia if that's exactly the problem then what even are the parents doing can't they impose some kind of parental security over the content they are watching because it depends on what they are actually watching and even if it is is the topic so then the topic is social media is a distraction for students then how distraction and health are correlated with each other i think distraction distraction as well as health they both are very well correlated with each other if you are distracted how can you focus on anything if you are distracted from your studies then how can you focus on your uh, on your exams and the and for us and as in teens it is very important to focus on studies because that's a very crucial stage of life so if you say that health and distraction can't be correlated with each other i completely oppose your point i think yes no dialogue please let's move on to team 3 ACS2 Rawat Bhatta it is your turn to ask your questions choose a team i would like to ask my questions from ACS4 Rawat Bhatta you said this social media have a lot of benefits for students what about those children the younger students the students we are not talking about are only in elder grades i'm not talking about them the one in younger grades what about them are they not exposing their vulnerable sides to the bad side of the social media they do not know what is right and what is wrong so what about them do, when what will happen if they expose their vulnerable side to the bad side of the social media 
the children who are really small don't use social media because their parents do not allow to give them phones and if their parents are allowing them allowing them to give use phones and use social media then their uh, parents problem and even if those students and those little children are doing these things then their um, educators or parents should teach them what is right and what is wrong because they are too small to learn these things your second question acs2 ravat bhata i would like to ask my question to acs indore if you say that social media is not a distraction to students how will you explain the death of students who died using social media apps see using social media if we scroll across different kind of contents and we might see some kind of suicidal and cyberbullying content yeah that is a fact but if that is the problem then what is uh, like even our parents or what is even the youtube or variety of applications like doing just we can scroll it off and search like how can we solve problems you can just make a single post on reddit and you will get among thousands of solutions just within a few days so you can get a lot of different opinions why that is a problem why that is not the problem now you are not opening a problem in front of each other and you are living with your own problem not expressing your feelings then that's the person's problem not everyone else problem we move on to the last team acs4 ravat bhata it is your turn to ask your questions you can ask one question to acs3 ravat bhata and one question to acs2 ravat bhata yes uh, my question is to acs3 ravat bhata one of my worthy opponent said that social media is the fault but in my opinion people should know the way to use it so can you justify it social media is really at the fault i i said that metadata invades the privacy of users and projects their algorithm in such a way that it traps them and honestly speaking the adolescent mind is always curious they are curious of the opposite sex they are curious of the uh, lives of the celebrities they are curious of new products and I, i don't think it is their fault but what will you uh, how will you justify the thing that the algorithms are invading privacy of users Well, we go to the last question by ACS four Ravat Bhata, and you have to direct it to ACS three Ravat Bhata. ACS three, ACS two. I beg your pardon. You have to ask ACS two that question. My question is: According to you, social media is a distraction, but is it the fault of the application that is social media, or the fault of the person who is using it? we are talking about students here you know their mind they are completely in a different manner they do not know what is right and what is wrong they do not have the idea the limits they should put on themselves they make their own ideas their own limits so social media is distracting them saying that they, it is having a negative impact no they are not the reason they are not the reason because they do not have the mindset they are making their own ideas i do not think they are the reason the application is because they are continuously using it and never knowing if you scroll through youtube you never know when you when you come to when you spend one hour on youtube and you never realize that point so i do not think that it is their problem that they are spending a lot of time on the social media because they think it is a good uh, good thing but rather it is a distraction for them thank you round by the students now i humbly request our judges uh, judges would you like to ask them any questions judges any questions to the uh, debaters ma'am just hold on we'll give you a mic uh, my question is with uh, team acs3 the question asked was uh, the question asked by team indoor was how you will connect with the people your friends after 12th if you are not using ha so uh, this question so uh, what what do you think children about it team acs3 
Ma'am, uh, after we pass our twelfth, honestly, most people are adults at that time, yes. and what I or my teammate were mentioning about it was about adolescents. And I think adults are more mature than adolescents, so they will be able to cope up with it. And we deal with a lot of different type of people in school, as our juniors, as our classmates, as our seniors. And as here we are here in Rawat Bhatta for this Inter Asia Zonal Level Debate Competition, we have interacted with so many people. people from different parts of the country and i think all these practical experiences make us uh, more able or make us more worthy of being able to cope up with a dangerous world outside rather than social media which is only a virtual platform and not a practical platform yes okay thank you so thank you children your answers to those questions were pretty impressive and your questions too were pretty impressive with this we come to the end of both the rounds well i'd like to just put in a few of my views some of you had definitely said that social media is just a media so it depends upon the user i think that's a very um, oft repeated statement because that is true you don't blame a knife you don't blame a sword you blame the user the media is there for us to use it depends on how we use it but the topic here is on students so students the age group of students it starts from prep pre prep to phd so you cannot say only school students but probably because this topic is meant for us we could you know uh, revolve the topic among school students finally you don't blame the equipment you blame the user it is the it is on the honest of the user the honest is on the user it depends on him of as to how he is going to use it whether he use the tool for a benefit or to you know destroy something destruction or a benefit well that is one point of view another thing uh, during the covid the social media came as a huge saver it's very it's an ironical thing because we schools are still reeling under the effect of the social media we see students students going blank in class going into a reverie and not being able to concentrate and pay attention as some child is saying the chain of thoughts are broken in a child who is completely addicted to the soft to the soft media to the social media so these are challenges there are multiple technological uh, inventions inventions that have been made but they have not been sociologically vetted sociologists have to sit it needs time to be vetted so probably in due course of time probably after probably 10 years the sociologists will come to know the benefits or the effects in fact we are seeing the downside of the social media well so that was my take on social media and distraction i would humbly request our principals over here to kindly put in probably a word or express an opinion sir kamlesh sir raghavan sir good afternoon everybody honorable chief guest of today's program principal ss 2 and 3 teachers participants and all the students present here topic is really very very important social media is a big distraction to the students as many of the debaters mentioned that it is not distraction it is really it is not it is really not a distraction but medium or you can say media of getting information exchanging information it depends on the individual how do they make use of this wonderful thing available to us very easily it has been observed that many students they take help of social media to uplift their knowledge 
by listening youtube videos even one of my students who recently all of you may be knowing qualified neat exam crack neat exam she also told us that she was listening she used to listen to youtube videos of many teachers physics chemistry and math uh, sorry bi biology and that helped her a lot she was a very regular student apart from school teachers teaching in class social media has also made immense contribution in his uh, in her uh, cracking neat examination not only in children it has been seen sometimes elders also make use of social media to learn a lot i also listen so many videos on different topics and get information very easily even when i go for work i listen some youtube video and keep getting information so that time it lands and i i remain busy listening the videos and how time passes i do not realize sometime i keep walking for hours so it depends it really depends on us how do we make use of social media what kind of material we get what kind of knowledge we want to get from it it is available everything has both side good and bad similarly it is applicable to social media also many children they make use of it for learning purpose many students they waste their time in accessing unwanted material unwanted information which is not useful to them or exchanging you know messages through whatsapp sometimes which is not required for them even uh, elders also sometimes waste their time so it depends on the individual it depends on individual how that person makes use of all this this wonderful facility available to us students should be very very disciplined if elders they access something which is not very useful to them it will not affect them much because they uh, they are not going to achieve something like students students have to read a lot have to compete with other students then only they can qualify some examination even 1 minute or 10 minute time is wasted by any student using this media other students who make meaningful use of this media or study on their own they will qualify examination thousands of students will be ahead of you if you use social media which is not good to you you access some information which is not useful to you for one hour and other students who are competing with you they access something very useful to them they you will be lagging behind them they will be going ahead of you so all of you should be very very responsible self discipline is very important when you access social media it is really wonderful but all of us have to be res uh, uh, make use of it very carefully then only it is useful otherwise you can waste your you know, whole life in accessing unwanted material spoil your health because when you watch you know 
any, anything through mobile or laptop or computer, your eyes, your brain, everything is affected for a longer time. So uh, we should make use of this very carefully and access to the material, to the information using use process, then it is a great thing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for your inputs and insight. Thank you very much indeed. I humbly request the organizing principal of the debate, Sri Joshi, sir, to kindly speak. Good evening, everyone. The topic for this final round was social media is a distinction to the students. Topic was not is internet is a distinction to the students. Internet is what some of the students told that we can download and we can read the content that is not from the social media. Social media will not provide any kind of educational content. You will find like, share, and subscribe. This is become a big headache for everybody. People post something and then they start expecting that there are some people they will like the content, they will share the content, and they will subscribe the content. And these people are not getting liked by, they go under the depression. So this like, share, and subscribe, if you remove from your life, whatever is there with you, if you are getting content with it, your life will be very peaceful. But the moment you start expecting this social media, because of that like, sharing, subscribe, creating problem for the children. Not just for the students, this is a problem for elderly people, those who are in public domain, even though by the followers, they are fake followers because they want, it's a business. And they want to show that they got so many followers. And if they show number of followers, they'll get some kind of endorsement. Not for the children. Don't come under a trap of this kind of system where you want to increase your followers, increase your share, increase your likes. Likes and dislikes varies for our concern. But people who are handling this, for them, it's poor business. So what I request children, those, uh, some of them that took the internet. Internet is fine, you can get the content. Content subject-wise, age-wise, class-wise, everything. But through social media, WhatsApp, as WhatsApp is not going to teach you unless you really join any community, which is useful community. Otherwise, it's a sheer wastage of time. There are so many studies. If you take the mobile in the early morning, and if you can finish your work in five minutes, and if you have mobile with you, you can finish that work more than one hour, more than an hour. Because you keep scrolling the mobiles. Therefore, if you want to make full use of the internet, then it is good. Better choose some important websites which are useful. Not the social website. Instagram in no way helpful in learning. It's a waste of time. There are so many videos uploaded, so many photos uploaded, and then people start expecting, I went to this particular website, I went to particular hillside, and so many pictures were clicked, and now people are liking, liking, liking this, and this creating problem for everybody. So forget about maintain distance. Really, at this age, there are certain families, they say that when the child was in class 10, or when they come to class 12, they did not switch on the TV for two years. And that was the effect the child got very good college, very good branch. Not just the mobile, even they switched off the TV sets for two years. The reason is the child should not get distracted from all this content. Thank you, Hansan. Thank you very much, sir, for your insight. Thank you so much. We come to the end of the debate. I request all the pa participants on the days to kindly occupy their seats with the audience and let's await the judgment. We we'll shortly know who the winner is going to be. Over to Mrs. Rebecca. Thank you, ma'am. We'll just start in a short moment. Please be seated.
Hello. 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 Hello.